What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part. Uh, we beat Lieutenant Surge, only to go past this route, only to find a dead end. And in this part, we're going to go out of this route and uh, try to see if we can find another way uh, to get out of this uh, area. Now, um, we're going to get a very special item in this part of the game. But anyway, this is a, a youngster, and the youngster sent out Radida. Yeah, level 17 Radida. A level 17 Radida against a level 28 Doug Trio. <laughs> yeah, we're very... Because we have... I've been over this multiple times, but because we have three teams... We're going to be over level for a good majority of the game because... Uh, let's just say we're not going to have a full team of six until much, much later in the game. I'm trying to see if Scratch takes out one shot, which it doesn't. Oh shit, that could hurt. Oh, that only did 12 damage. Probably because we're so over level, but... Uh, Anyway, so uh, it's going to have Eradicate. So, uh, a level 17 Eradicate, which Eradicate evolves at, like, level 20. So, uh, that only did 7 damage. So, uh, yeah, maybe Eradicates are becoming less annoying as, uh, more, we level up more, which kind of sounds like uh, any other RPG. But, uh, Monimo's level 29. Yeah, we're going to have, like, level 30-something Pokemon by the 4th gym. But, uh, because the 4th gym, let's just say, is a while away. But, um... I'm just gonna fight the remaining trainers on this part for XP versus I've never won before. Well, well, the other gambler said he never lost before, but uh, we no longer have Abra, so we can't just flat out teleport back to the Pokemon Center. And you can't use uh, Dig and uh, in uh, non cave areas. So uh, let's see if we can get Monty Mall to like level 30. I think in the level 30s, he also learns a new move. I think it's like Slash he learns. Which will be great, because Slash has a high critical hit rate, and if, uh, because Gen 1 critical hits are based on speed, uh, when Doug Trio learns Slash, it'll almost always be a critical hit, so, uh... And we have a Gambler, and, uh, I saw this coming, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I think that's all the trainers on this route, so, uh... We're just gonna cut back to Vermilion City. Anyway, so back in Vermilion City, anyway, so, uh, that's all we really have to do in Vermilion City, so, uh, I guess we can say, I guess we can, uh, take a quick heal at the Pokemon Center and, uh, kiss Vermilion City goodbye. Now, um, there is a, there is a particular reason coming up why I want to get the Flash HM, but, um... But anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, walk back up this road. Now, uh... We're gonna get a very significant item, let's just say, because we got the bike voucher in, uh, Vermilion City. I probably should just, uh, cut back to Cerulean City, and, uh, you know what? I'll do that when I get in this building. Anyway, so back at Cerulean City. Now, we're gonna have a very significant advantage going forward, is, uh, we have our Farfetch and it was cut, so we can just cut away these bushes. So, uh, we're gonna go in here really quickly. And talk to this guy. Oh, that's... A bike voucher. Okay, here you go. We received the bike voucher for a bicycle. So, uh, yeah. The bicycle is one of the best weapon eye pieces of armor in the game. Is one of the best items you can get in the game. I, mean, I like to also, uh, set the bicycle to the top position. So, in this case, we're just gonna... Maybe replace the moonstone and maybe, uh... Maybe, maybe switch these around. So, uh, yeah. We'll put the bicycle above the town map. So, anyway. So, uh, no second armor here. However, once we, uh... What, wait to see how fast we can go. Yeah, we can go a lot faster, let's just say. And if you want, uh, in your next, we're next to the daycare, so if we want, we can just get these Pokemon up a few levels. But we are significantly over leveled, so we're just gonna go to the next route. Now, uh, I think this place is gonna go a lot quicker, also, because, uh, let's just say, once we just cut, because, uh, yeah, we're on a brand new route. So, uh, what we can do now is, uh, this is Route 9, so, uh, there are no new Pokemon in this route, but if you're playing the yellow version, you can encounter Fero. so, uh... I just want to fight some new trainers. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Let's see if we can, uh, get, um... Anyway, this is Oddish, so, uh... Let's see if we can get all the way to the next area in one video. However, uh, I'm using a Jigglypuff. Let's see if we can get Jigglypuff up a few more levels because, uh, not get her paralyzed. 
Uh, yeah, paralyzed. I probably should have bought a few paralyzed heals, which uh, I might actually have to do that. I have to go back to the Pokemon Center off screen. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch out because uh. Yeah, let's just switch out to spam dig because of a Gen 1 mechanic. Anyway, so Oddish, and uh, it's gonna have a little Oddish and Bell Sprout. So eventually, we're gonna start inclu including like Gloom and Weep and Bell in these fights. Seeing Gloom and Weep and Bell in these fights, but um. Eventually, uh, Monty must get to level 30, so uh, he'll be my highest level also, so, uh... So, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, maybe buy some Paralysis, so I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so back on, uh, Route 9, so what uh, we're gonna do is, uh... I also bought a bunch of Paralysis and Awakenings, because I know we're gonna need those for the next gym. Anyway, let's place a Hiker. Wah, uh, great, I was bored, eh? Anyway, so Hiker wants to fight, and Hiker sent out Machop. Let's see, uh, we are ten levels away from this, nine levels away from this, but, uh, we no longer know Water Gun, unfortunately, so, uh, we're gonna have to fight him with Old Fashioned Fisticuffs. Yeah, I know his low kick, so, uh, yeah, that did a significant amount of damage, but, uh, hopefully two hits kill this Machop. Oh, fuck. Well, it did, uh, oh, shit, uh. Well, this is the reason also I bought a bunch of Awakenings, but, uh, unfortunately, though, I can't really do much with this. So, yeah, Onyx, let's just put to our War Portal. And, uh, Onyx, uh, why don't you just eat, uh, a Bubble Beam? We could use Water Gun, but, uh... It's not gonna learn another Water-type move for a, a lot later, so we're gonna be stuck with Bubble Beam and Water Gun for a while, but, um... Maybe I might swap out with something I want to teach this War Troll, anyway, TM30. What's TM30 contain? It contains Teleport. We're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna skip that. Actually, uh, no, we're not gonna teach that. Because we have digs, so, uh, it's not really too much of a deal if we need to... That's another way we can get back to a Pokemon Center, but anyway, so, um... At least I walk out with those good-looking Pokemon, anyway, so, um... A junior trainer and a junior trainer male and a junior trainer is having a yeah he has a growl he has a growlet so uh you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna use rest really quickly I'm gonna show what that does start sleeping and it also heals any status conditions so what we're gonna do also is uh we're gonna use our awakening because I bought like ten, I bought ten paralysis heals and I bought ten awakenings. So I hope we don't get burned by this, because burn lowers your attacks out in half, which thankfully we don't. So, um, the growl isn't really doing much damage, but, um, eventually in a few levels, we're going to learn a much better move than pound. So, uh, again, Jigglypuff is good in Gen 1. It just takes forever to get good, let's say. We're already starting to get good with rest and everything, but, um... Anyway, so, uh, Charmander, so, uh, let's see if we can, uh, take out with Pound, because Charmander has horrible, uh, I've already got, I've already gone over how Charmander has, uh, not very good physical defense, that did, like, half of its damage, so, uh, the one more hit will take it out. So, yeah, we defeated Junior Trainer Male, so, uh, I think I'm just gonna, do I have any more Super Potions? I have four of them, so let's just use one of them. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think this next trainer, um, is a very special one. I got an earlier day to reason Pokemon from Cocoons. Anyway, so, uh, this trainer is probably the strongest bug catcher you'll fight in the whole game because, uh, bug catcher and, uh, guess what? It has a bee drill. This is our first time ever seeing a bee drill, so, uh, and we'll get a nice level, but I think I'm gonna try a different strategy. I'm gonna try Sing, which didn't affect it, but, um... Yeah, thank God it's not a critical, but I'm gonna try to see if I can Sing this and pound it to death. 
Yeah, which it works the second time. So I'm going to sing on this and pound it to death because it is a fully evolved Pokemon we're facing. Which it woke up right away, so that meant that, that strat didn't work. But it, or it took half its damage, so um, it is going to lower its critical hit rate. So maybe not, uh, maybe not, I didn't think this through as much as I thought I did, but um... And Peach is level 30. Anyway, so uh, another uh, he's going to have a second Beedrill also. So uh, Beedrill, I don't think really is doesn't learn as good as move as Butterfree. So I'd say it's easier to take out. Especially if you have a, especially if you have a ground type. Because it's Gen 1 mechanics. And even a Psychic type will take it out too. It's Bug Poison. So uh... Yeah, that's a uh, second bead drill taken out. How close will uh, Jigglypuff at Peach be to level 31? Because I want to see if I can try to get to that level. All right, 1,480. So we can get Peach to level 31 because uh, it's level 34. I think it learns Body Slam. So uh, yo, my Super Bug Pokemon, and I think the, this trainer has like level 20 Caterpies or something. Yeah, I literally called it a level 20 Caterpie. So, yeah, we'll just one-shot this thing. It only did five damage, so, uh... We didn't one-shot this, unfortunately, but, uh... Yeah, we'll have no problem against this trainer. Especially since we're over-leveled, but, um... Yeah, it's gonna have a, we a level 20 Weedle. So, yeah, we just went from facing two Beedrills to facing a level 20 Weedle. Thankfully, I won't need to use antidotes if, we're, if we get poisoned because I know rest. So, uh. It's gonna know. It's gonna use a venonat. So, uh. That's actually a new Pokemon. It's a bug poison type. But, um. Of course, my pound is disabled. But, it, thankfully, it only lasted one turn. So, uh. And we should be almost level 31. However, I think we're about to face a hiker, so I'm just gonna uh I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna, let's see how close my war turtle is leveling up. Oh, it's actually uh ha about halfway, so let's just, just try to see. Um let's see if one hiker can level this war turtle up. Ha! Ah, aren't you a little toughy? Anyway, so uh And Hiker wants to fight a hiker sent out to you, dude. So uh yeah. Unfortunately, because we're Jigglypuff no longer knows Water Gun, so we can't take a Rock type. So, um, you know, let's just use Water Gun. We are eight levels above this thing. This thing has a time full weakness to Water, so. What oh, Machop? Uh, I'm not gonna bring out my Jigglypuff. Nah. But since I can't get revived at this point in the game, but uh, I don't even one shot this. Maybe I should use Bubble Beam. I don't know, but, um. Of course, critical hit, but, um. I think he's going to send out an Onyx after this. Yeah, he's going to send out a Geodude. So let's just Water Gun this. Anyway, so we defeated Hiker. Anyway, so, um... Let's use our Super Potion on a Jigglypuff. Let's try to see if we can get... Peach up one more level. I think it's another four levels before it learns a body sound level. Let's just face this trainer. Um, don't you dare condescend me anyway. So, um, this is a junior trainer female. Junior trainer senior female sent out Meow. So, go Peach. So Meowth is gonna be faster than us. It's one of the fastest nor it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, especially when it's evolved into a Persian, which it evolves at level 28, so. Oh, and also knows payday, so basically you can scatter, you can get money basically from it attacking you. Anyway, so uh And level up, please. No. Anyway, so um we picked up money balls, but this route right here is, uh, let's just see if we can, we, if we can load on the town map. This is route 10. 
New Pokemon you can find here is uh, Voltorb. It's one of the fa it's it's the fastest Pokemon in Gen One, but the problem is it doesn't learn many Electric type of moves. But um, I don't think it really learns any aside from TM. So I'd say pass on it. I'd say unless you need a uh, HM Slaper class, because you can learn that. But anyway, so we're gonna go heal and uh, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna cut it off for this part of uh Pokemon Red. So uh. Next time on Pokemon Red, uh, we're gonna, uh, try to see if we can go into this panel right here. See you guys then.